Yeah, welcome back to the channel. And in this video, I thought I'd give a comparison of the two VDE torque screwdrivers that I have available to me. This video is sponsored. I purchased both the VHAR and the RMEG torque screwdriver sets for use in my daily work as an electrician. If you've seen my video on tools I keep in my desktop drawer at work, you'll have seen the VHAR kit over here. This particular one is the five piece kit. Uh, it comes with a two slotted posi bits, which are the number one and the number two, the adapter bit for the screwdriver handle, the torque setting tool, and the screwdriver handle itself. Also comes in its own little plastic case and with its, uh, a calibration certificate from VHAR as well. Uh, and ooh, the actual bits for this are compatible with the screwdriver bits in the Slim Vario set, any of the Slim Vario sets. So whilst I only have two bits in this kit, I have a multitude of bits that are available in the Slim Vario that I can use with it as well, which is a set of posi, Phillips, slotted posi again, um, slotted screwdrivers for those, some Allen keys and some Torx bits as well. So that's the five piece kit. Uh, it retails in the UK for around about £100. Viha also do a 13-piece kit and also a 18-piece kit that go for around about £142 and £190 uh, respectively. Uh, so that's the Viha one. That stays in my office with me most of the time. And for the one that I usually have kicking around in my car, and taken out onto site to me is this unit from Armeg, and this particular one is the 13 piece uh, they call it the fully loaded kit they also do a five piece kit as well um, that matches the VR unit now if you've not come across Armeg before um, they are a UK based company in Sheffield and uh, they do make an awful lot of cutting tools uh, drill bits and hole saws and the like primarily aimed I believe at the domestic installation market uh, but they also do make a few hand tools as well and um, they're usually associated with being pretty good quality um, easily comparable to the quality of, of VHA personally for me uh, so as I said this is 13 piece kit um, this retails £431 so £10 cheaper than the 13 piece kit from Vihar. Um, their five piece kit retails for uh, 90 pounds, again, 10 pounds cheaper. And um, because of the setup that Armeg have, you actually have an extra bit in their five piece set uh, because they don't have this adapter piece uh, with their screwdrivers. Um, so it comes in this blow molded plastic case, uh, it's a nice quality case. Uh, steel uh, hinge pins there so should last a wee while the only thing I do notice about it is that it doesn't have a handle on it a carry handle so you kind of have to sort of grip it like that or carry it underneath um, so it can be a bit of a handful if you've got other tools to carry along with you as well uh, the two clasps there metal clasps so uh, again pretty strong and tight and there you have the kit inside uh, this too comes with a calibration certificate from Armeg the manufacturer um, which you kind of need for the UK really um, you can get these recalibrated afterwards uh, somewhere around about £20, £25 to get them checked out in the UK um, if they need adjustment I haven't got a clue because uh, these have never needed adjustment uh, but for the Armeg kit if you have the five piece one it comes uh, in exactly the same case you just get a handle and the three bits and then the adjusting tool as well so you could start off with the five piece kit and then you could build up if you wanted to this is the 13 piece kit that they do this has got everything in there uh, for in terms of bits for these uh, you get two slotted in this uh, the posi one and two uh, the slotted posi one and the number two is in the handle down here and then you get three allen key bits here uh, one in there and two and the uh, two handles here um, 
as well as the bits contained in the kits, Armag also do a full range of alternative bits that pretty much match those available in the Weha Slim Vario set. So if it'll prop up, there we go. So for the actual screw, this is just a screwdriver handle. No, uh, no ratcheting mechanism on it or, or anything like that. Um, to get the bit out of this one, you press in and then pull the bit out. Uh, the bits aren't spring loaded or anything. So that's that one. You also get a T handle, uh, which this is slightly different. You actually twist the head here to get the bit out. And again, it just pulls out. So that's that one. And then you get the actual torque screwdriver handle as well. So we'll put that here and pull out the torque just tool. And then close him up, push him to the back. Um, and this is pretty much what you end up with. Uh, this is the VHAR one, and slightly smaller handle. Um, not all of it is soft grip. Um, does feel very solid though, and possibly even a fraction heavier than uh, the Armeg unit. The Armeg unit is a much bigger soft grip on the handle area. And obviously, as I said, you get the bits out on this one by twisting and pulling out. This one is a snapping bit. You need to snap in the uh, adapter piece and then you can put the screwdriver bit in and lock it in position. Uh, that's your setup for the VH unit. Um, in terms of length, so they're pretty much comparable handles wise pretty much the same length, a little bit longer for the actual VHA unit overall length uh, bit, but there's not an awful lot in it, uh, yes. A uh, quarter of an inch maybe. And the one thing you do notice about this is this is the slim style bits in this, so even with the posi two, uh, slotted posi 2 this is the same as the uh, Armeg unit here. You can see this is the slim setting, so the insulation is the same diameter as the actual bit itself, whereas with the Armeg unit you've got this step. So if you've got deeply recessed screws, then you perhaps get on better with this slim vario kit than you would the kit from Armeg. I don't believe Armeg make any slim line bits, they're all this stepped bit here for all of them. So put them over there. In terms of torque adjustment, this is where Armeg gets its own back to set the torque on the VHAR. They have to take the bit back out and with the VHAR setting tool that goes into the handle and then you can turn it and set it up. I'll see if I can get some close-up setup of me doing this. And the settings go in 0.2 steps, so this is 0.8 to five newton meters. Uh, so if I want one and a half, uh, there's one point four there. Go around, there's one point six. So I have to kind of set it without the one point four and the one point six there. So you're left with a blank window. And obviously, you have kind of have to remember that you set it to one point five on that one, and then you can put your uh, adapter back in, lock it in place. Uh, let's put the uh, slotted two in there and that's set for one and a half newton meters um, for the arm egg it's set at the top of the handle here so you don't have to take the bit out you can change it with the bit in situ and you just put the adjusting tool in and just tweak it around and you can also hear whereas this was a smooth um, setting adjustment on this. You can hopefully hear the clicking on this as you move it around each setting. Uh, so there's the 1.5 on that one there and you've got immediate reference to, to where you've set it by looking at the handle here uh, which is uh, a bit more user-friendly I guess. In terms of actual operation they're pretty much the same to be honest. Um, I've got an awful lot of difference feeling between them if you can it works. So that's clipped over there. So it's set to one and a half 
new meters, do the same with the RMEG. So I guess you was perhaps a little bit more positive with the RMEG, a bit a uh, bit better clicking sound. And there's more rotation involved in the RMEG than there is in the VHAV going through the setting. So they're both usable. Yeah, it's kind of a, a short, jumpy one, um, but they're both positive. You you know you've you've hit the torque setting uh, without any issue uh, really. Um, so um, that's the two kits. Um, in terms of my preference, uh, I say that they are both usable. Um, I have a slight preference for the Armeg unit. Um, it's a slightly bigger uh, soft grip handle and it fits in my hands a little bit better but I found them both uh, very usable I did go through a uh, control panel that um, had a report of loose connections in it I think I must have found probably around about 60% of the connections weren't up to torque they're reasonably tight but they weren't up to the torque using a torque screwdriver and with that panel I actually had, um, I had to use three different drivers and four different torque settings. So when you're in that kind of situation, having two torque screwdrivers is quite good. Um, but this Armeg starts to come into its own a little bit because you, oh, I say you don't have to take out the bit to reset the torque setting. Um, so you save a little bit more time if you've got a panel with uh, various different uh, contactors and terminals and circuit breakers that I had in that different size terminals from different manufacturers as well requiring to change the torque setting uh, this unit then it becomes a little bit more uh, friendly in operation and so we'll wind him back down there of course when we finish with it as well you then have to take the the bits and the adapter out and wind this back down to uh, minimum setting again. There we go. Um, <coughs> so that's it for this video. That's the two torque screwdrivers uh, that I use. Um, I'll leave links in the description down below to both the Armeg and the VR sets so you can peruse them at your own leisure. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you found it useful, and I'll see you again in the next video.